Why, hello again. Hi, everyone. Hey, and welcome to another episode of Cooking, Cooking with, with the, the Wileys. Wileys. Yes. And we can't wait to have you. We've got another wonderful meal in yeah. store, right? This is going to be interesting. It's a little Middle Eastern flair to it. It's called Zatar Chicken and Farro Salad with beet, goat cheese, and pistachios. That sounds really interesting to me. I'm going to tell you, I've never had Zatar uh, chicken with the salad, you know, like this before. So uh, it's, it's definitely going to be interesting. It's definitely going to be exciting. We can't wait to have you. Yeah. And um, hopefully you enjoy it as much as we do. Yes, sir. So let's go. And now we have our uh, wonderful ingredients. Of course, again, uh, provided by Blue Apron. Now we've got our crumbled goat cheese. We've got our premium chicken breast uh, from Blue Apron. We've got our beet. Uh, this, this is a little bit different. Uh, our mint. Uh, and we've also got our leaves. Arugula. Our arugula. We've also got our onion. We've got shallot. Our, our shallot, yes. <laughs> You're right. We've got our pistachios. We've got our Zatar spice blend. We've got our red wine vinegar. All right, simple as this. All we need to do is um, take the chicken, pat it dry, two pieces. Um, or if you've got a bigger family, you might have four pieces or whatnot. Um, make sure it's dry. All right, so we have prepared our um, fresh ingredients, our vegetables here. We washed and dried them. We got the chopped arugula, it's finely chopped. We have the mint leaves just peeled off of their stem and sitting to the side. Um, we have finally chopped the pistachios. And we also diced our onion and added the red wine vinegar to that and that's going to be the base to our dressing that we're going to make with our um, beets. Which we have over here boiling. Nice and bright red. Isn't that delicious? <laughs> <laughs> it looks scary to me. <laughs> oh, um, we've also done our farro. It's all steamed up and ready to go for our salad. So we have that on the side cooling. And then also the chicken, so, uh, nice and seasoned well. Mr. Wiley did All right, so right we're here. back again. Uh, we're ready to put this chicken on the stove right now. It's pan's hot and ready. We've got the two tablespoons of olive oil in it. And um, we've got it all seasoned. We'll take this over here. Slide these right here on the pan. So the idea here, we're gonna cover the pan loosely, cook it for about four to six minutes. Uh, after we cook it to four to six minutes, we're gonna flip the side over. Uh, the, the aluminum foil that we, we're gonna cover it with ensures that it gets cooked a little bit on the other side too to make sure we're done, all right? Well, next, we're gonna be making the, uh, the salad. So um, we'll see you next time. Are you recording? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so now we are making our salad, um, actually our beet dressing. Got our um, onions with vinegar again. We're going to add that to the cooked beet. Just going to toss that in there. Get all that out of there. Stir it up really good. Again, season that to taste. Stir this up really good. And then I'm going to put that aside. Take my arugula and put that in with the farro. Farro reminds me of like rice. 
so I guess a type of green, or I'm sorry, not a green, but a grain. <laughs> so put that in there and mix it up. And those leaves will wilt. This is a salad, so it doesn't have to cook. Pretty much put that in there. Put salt and pepper. Again. Nice little boom boom. This smells a little bit simpler than the other ones I see. Can you agree? I think so too. Quick and easy, that's what we like. All right. All right. And we're all done, we're right? All finished. Uh, I think we're all done, and we've got our finished uh, product here before us. Mm -hmm. And it looks nice and wonderful. Looks nice and flavorful, honestly. You've got the um, the goat cheese. You got the onions. You've got the beets. You've got the mint. You got the pistachios. You got the chicken. It's so many different flavors, and I can't wait to jump in and try it out. Yeah, it looks rustic. It looks colorful. Right. And flavorful above all else. I'm trying to do this without a knife, so. Mm. I was worried about the beat, but you know what? Not so bad. Very good. I think we did another home run. Hope you check out Blue Apron, see for yourself how good these recipes are, and continue mm -hmm. to watch our show and see. What other surprises we got in store for you? That's right. Can't wait to see you the next time. All right.